In the game of football, sometimes things happen in your favor and sometimes they don't. But it's those things that don't that could really eat you alive. Unfortunately, after the ref blows the whistle, the game isn't fully over yet. Come the post-game interviews, press conferences, and then you get to watch those. The thousands and thousands of replays of the play that cost you the game. The replay of your missed shot. Oh man. Uh, I got one thing to say. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. But now it's time to turn the page. Now it's time for me to move on. Now it's time for Mexico to move on because we're we're gonna play the third place game versus Uruguay. And as you can see, Brazil and Argentina had moved on, have moved on to the final of the Copa America. And there's no question, that there's no denying that Brazil and Argentina are the two best teams in the continent of America. But we were just that, that close. We were so, so close to, to playing a final. And, you know, I definitely made a mistake. I apologize to my teammates. I apologize to the people that I had to apologize to. They showed me solidarity and now it's time to move on. It's time to move on because Uruguay is here to play. Uruguay isn't messing around and they open up the scoreboards in the seventh minute of action. And it's like we're, we're, we're still stuck in shock, man. We're, we're still pretty bummed out of the opportunity we let go of advancing to the finals of the Copa America versus Brazil. But we have to snap out of it. We have to snap out of it. It's over. We, we have the third place game right here versus Uruguay. And, and a third place behind Brazil and Argentina is, is nothing to be ashamed of. I try the nice little finesse out around Muslera's reach. And he saves it greatly right there. 13 minutes in. The cross comes in. I get the header on it. The post denies me once again. We get extremely close right there. Look at this nice, nice pass from Raul Jimenez. Here we go once again. Can I finally tie things up? And Muslera once again with a great save. Ah, it's like I'm not in form, man. It's like I'm not playing to the best of my abilities. I got to snap out of it, man. Because Uruguay is bringing the pain. Nice save from Cirilo Saucedo right there. 44 minutes in. Let's see if we can tie things up. Great, great pass. Here we go. Burrito Hernandez with a shot. Muslera with a calm, calm save right there. And we go to halftime. We go to the locker rooms. Down 1-0 to Uruguay. Come on, Mexico. We have to react. We have to snap out of it. It's over. We're playing for third place now. And like I said, it's no shame. Chicharito coming into the game. Only four minutes into the second half. Chicharito getting us hyped. Getting us, getting us out of that slump. Getting us out of that mode of depression. Nice, nice finish, man, from, from the Manchester United striker. Beautiful, beautiful finish. The, the tres dedos. That's how they say it in Spanish. With the outside of his foot. Javier Hernandez with the equalizer. And everything was changing from there. I was fighting hard for possession. Get off me, baby. I'm putting a great through pass to Chicharito Hernandez. Here's Chicharito. Javier, Javier. The goal. The lead. Six minutes into the second half. Chicharito Hernandez has turned things around. Oh, my goodness. Chicharito said, hey, snap out of it, man. We're better than that. And hey, what a goal for your boy. Chicharito Hernandez, the Manchester United striker, getting past Muslera, giving us the lead. It's crazy. Only six minutes ago, we're in the locker rooms with our heads down, not understanding what was happening. And now you can feel the momentum shift. Now you can see plays like this happening. Enriquez with the post. But look at this. Look at this. Muslera puts it into his own net. Oh, my God. Come on, Muslera. Come on, dude. I mean, I understand. Man. This is not really his fault, but no, it is his fault. It is his fault. I mean, he tried to slide and he'll try to save the ball from going into his own net. The Uruguay keeper puts it into the back of the net. And just like that, 3-1 to one with very, very little time in the second half. But here's Uruguay trying to respond and getting extremely, extremely close to the equalizer. Abel misses slightly right there, thankfully for us. 78 minutes in, another great through ball for Chicharito. Chicharito and Muslera. Muslera with a great save, man. Trying to make up for his mistake. But, hey, you're going to need a lot more than that. Here's Chicharito. Can I finally get my goal in the 85th minute? That shot in Muslera once again with an amazing save. But it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. The ref blows the whistle. We have just won the third place spot in America. Ah, oh, man. I mean, it's rough to say that when you were so, so close. But like I said, man, it starts with me. I have to turn the page and I have to move on because life isn't going to wait around for me. 
My career isn't going to wait around for me. 9.4 match rating, one assist. But now it's time for me to fly to Newcastle to get my new adventure started in the Premier League. It's so peaceful, it's so quiet up here, it's just what I need. But meanwhile man, let me show you guys my stats, let me show you guys how I'm making it look easy, how I'm getting past defenders easily, here we go man. I've come a long way as a player, 88 sprint speed, 90 ball control, I mean, my mental strength is growing, well, I, look at that, my ball skills are growing every day, shooting is, is, is pretty alright, my passing is good. I'm a little bad on defense, but I'll get better at that. And here we go. Here are my league objectives. Here, here is what they're expecting from me on this one year loan to Newcastle. 7.3 match rating or better. At least 15 goals, 5 assists, and a goal conversion ratio, ratio over 19%. Our first friendly with the Newcastle United jersey is versus Valenciennes FC, a French club. And man, I, I'm more optimistic than ever. You know, like I said, in the game of football, sometimes things go your way and sometimes they don't. But you have to move on because it's not going to wait for you. Your career has to move on. You have to get past those things or you can let them eat you alive forever. And I'm not about to do that. I'm ready to start this new phase with Newcastle United, grow my skills, and just improve as a, as a player, as a person. But unfortunately, Valenciennes, man, in the first player danger in the entire game, Makes the crowd erupt in the seventh minute of action. Not even the seventh minute. A little bit before the seventh minute. And they open up the scoreboards right there. So, Uruguay in that game. The third place game for the Copa America. They, they, they scored. They opened up the scoreboards also in the seventh minute. So, here's Valenciennes doing the exact same team thing to us. And we have to react, man. We have to respond now. Beautiful, beautiful through pass right here. Come on, baby. Sending a good cross. Sending the cross. He took a little bit too long. We still get a shot on it. Jonas. Sends it over the crossbar and ah, all right, man. now I have to start showing my skills. Now I have to start getting out of this small, small slump. I asked for the ball right here, 34 minutes in. I try to finesse it. I try to hit that post right there. But I'm going to be brutally honest, man. Sometimes you just got to say things how they are. Sometimes you just got to be honest with yourself. You can't lie to yourself. I'm not in form right now. I'm being honest. I'm not in form. I don't feel at the, at the best of my abilities. Here you see we played horrible. The first half, only two shots. None of them are, were on target. And with 36% possession, we're not going to get many chances on goal. I feed Gofran and he sends it slightly, slightly wide right there. Come on. We have to respond. We can't lose to Valenciennes FC right here. I turn around. I get a chance. I see the goal when I put it into the back of the net. Beautiful, beautiful finesse shot with my weak foot and hey man you know where I'm lacking you, you know where I can I can use some tips from you guys I need some celebrations man so in the comments down below let me know your favorite celebration let me know what th celebrations I should do here here in FIFA after I score man leave the button combinations whether it be Xbox or, or on the PlayStation I only have PlayStation but I can, I can figure out the button combination so let me know what celebrations I should start using man because I need your help with that, man. I need your help with that. 82 minutes in. Let's go out there and win this one. Look at my stamina bar. I'm, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm tired. How was that? A foul ref. I, I thought he had called the penalty right there. Unfortunately, he called the foul on me. I was already gassed, man. But I was still leaving it all on the pitch. Unfortunately, oof. Valenciennes gets close. They get close to winning the game in the 89th minute. The ref blows a whistle. We pick up a draw in our first preseason game with Newcastle United. And man, our captain is disappointed. Kabai is obviously disappointed that we didn't pick up a win. And hey, we must admit, we didn't play well. But I need time to gel with my teammates. And, and more honestly, man, I'm not playing well. I'm not in form. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with myself. 6.9 match rating, although I did pick up the only goal for our team. I need to get back in form and I'll start ripping the league up. Just like I did with Chelsea FC. I'm here to start a new adventure with Newcastle United and be a contender in the Barclays Premier League.